Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, December 25th, 2021. For all of you out there who are celebrating, I hope you're having a very Merry Christmas. Whether you're spending time with your family or just having a quiet weekend home alone, I'm really glad you're here with me solving crosswords. And because today is Christmas, it looks like we might have a special themed Saturday puzzle. This grid is not rotationally symmetrical. It's got a very interesting horizontal symmetry here. We may have a rare case of a theme on a Saturday. Let's see if that's the case. All right, let's get started. One across, things you might snap on nowadays. Hmm. Snap on. That's very interesting. It's going to be some kind of modern technological thing, possibly. I don't know. Hmm. This is a pretty big stack of long acrosses here, and we have a three stack of grid spanners on the bottom. Hmm. Let's start looking at some of these downs here. That might help us get these long acrosses. Relating to sound, it's not aural, that's too short, it's not sonic either, hmm, one cycle per second, would that be hertz, like one hertz, I wonder if that's right, 1979 Donna Summer hit, or where it was heard, um, well, she was like the disco queen, right? So this must have been heard in a disco. Um, I guess one of her songs probably has disco in the title. Um, I don't know if it's going to be at the beginning or the end. HD would be kind of strange. Hmm. I wonder if we could put disco at the end of this answer here. Let's actually see if we can confirm that. Sam, who directed A Simple Plan. Was that Sam Raimi? I want to say it was, actually. Yeah, let's get rid of Disco. Let's put in Sam Raimi. I believe that's correct. Let's see if we can confirm that. Switch letters. Switch letters. This feels like a little bit of a misdirection. Is it a specific kind of switch? Could it be like AC-DC? Like a converter? Hmm. Some news on Wall Street. I wonder if that's IPOs. Initial public offerings, yeah. Linguist Okrind, who created Klingon. Man, I'm kind of a Star Trek nerd. I should probably know this person's name. I definitely don't, though. Stuff. This is pretty ambiguous here. This could be a noun or a verb. Hmm. Well, at least we confirmed Raimi. That's pretty helpful. Let's move back up into the top here. Model and body positivity activist Holiday. I think maybe I've seen this name before. I don't remember this person's first name though. Pained expression. I guess this should be like a grimace? Hmm. Or maybe it could be an expression that you say out loud. It would be an expression of pain. Ooh, that seems properly tricky for a Saturday puzzle. Pained expression. It's not ow. Hmm, maybe it is something like that though. Help lift something, maybe. And this is wordplay, so it is not going to be about helping your friend lift their couch. Um, maybe it's going to be a bet. You could be helping someone to lift something, as in steal something. Yeah, if you help in a theft, that would be a betting, right? Okay, um, that feels pretty good. Writer whose initials, when doubled become another answer in this puzzle. Hmm. I wonder if this is T.S. Eliot, and then his initials, if you doubled them, would be Tsitsi, right? That could be the Tsitsi fly. Yeah, 
That's looking really good. Okay. Checkout choice. I wonder if that could be a plastic bag. Yeah. That's becoming a choice that's less and less available, thankfully. Okay, some spreads. I wonder if that's oleos? No. No, those letters don't quite work. Some spreads. Hmm. I guess it could be like a feast. Lug. This is another example of a clue that could be a noun or a verb. Lug could be carrying something. It could also be kind of a dim-witted person. Um, hmm. Bad Lieutenant Star? I think I've heard of this. I don't know who's in it, though. Classic I Messed Up gift? It's not flowers? Hmm. I Messed Up gift. Be Behind Bars. And this is wordplay, so it's not about being in prison for abetting a robbery. Um, this is going to be a different kind of bars. Maybe it's about a bar that you would get drinks at? Yeah, I wonder if this could be tend? Could it be like a bartender? Tend bar? I wonder if it's tend. That would be a pretty clever answer. Subject of some MK Ultra experiments. I think they were experimenting with LSD, weren't they? Yeah. Ball blank. I wonder if that's ball peen? That's a kind of hammer. It's got a ball on the other side instead of the claw. Yeah. Does that help on the downs here? Yeah, maybe this could be haul up? Yeah, this would be the verb form. You're carrying something. Um, hmm, roses, it was about flowers, uh, we just had to be more specific. Okay, fly far, far away, and this is wordplay, so it's not about migrating, maybe as a goose would? Um, hmm, I'm not sure where the pun here is gonna be. Is it about a fly ball in baseball? Fly far, far away. You know what? Maybe this is the pair to the doubled initial clue here. T.S. Eliot. Yeah, because a fly far, far away, a fly that's in Africa, could be a tsetse fly. Yeah, so this is not haul up. I wonder if it's not peen either, although that still looks pretty good. But let's take this out. Let's put in tsetse. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, you know what? This is gonna be schlep. That's another word for carrying something. That's great. That's a lot better of an answer than haul up. This is a really nice entry here. Um, well, just based on these letters, I'm thinking maybe the bad lieutenant star could be Harvey Keitel. Those letters look really good. Um, okay, we haven't looked at this one yet. Something suddenly fashionable. I guess this could be the new black. Yeah, kind of like orange is the new black or red is the new black. Yeah, that's really clever. The new black. Okay. Um, hmm. Welcome sign of spring. This is looking like it's going to end in weather, right? Weather, maybe it's just warmer weather? That doesn't quite fit. Hmm. WW looks very weird here. Pained expression. I guess maybe it's just awe? Like you're disappointed? Two A's though? Oh boy. Um... Things you might snap on nowadays. I don't know. Some spreads. Hmm, maybe this is just pâtés. Yeah, and then this is apps. 
Could this be photo apps? Maybe it's not awe, maybe it's ow. <laughs> You're literally in pain. Yeah, expressing that pain. Okay, that's pretty funny. Okay, so this is gonna be photo apps. That's very good. Um, hmm, still don't know her. Relating to sound could be phonic. That's very interesting. If any of you solved the cryptic crossword in the Puzzle Mania section this month, this one will look familiar to you. Um, is it gonna be stormy weather? Is that a welcome sign of spring? This would start with two T's. Bad way to be disguised. Yeah, I don't think this should be a T. Bases of support. Well, it's probably plural. Let's put an S here. Charge. It's not energize. Hmm, I'm not sure about this one. More familiar name for a hydrated magnesium silicate. <laughs> Oh my god, is it just talc? It's one on the Mohs scale. We learned that yesterday. Souvlaki go with. Souvlaki, hmm. Well, I know that's a food. I don't really know much beyond that. Body opening, and this is wordplay, so this is not gonna be about your mouth or your ear, I don't think. Um, maybe it's a prefix that goes in front of body. Or maybe it's just the letter B. Could it be B? Souvlaki, hmm, that looks really weird. Dulce blank, correspondent for The Daily Show, beginning in 2017. Hmm, I definitely don't know who this is. Uh-oh, bad way to be disguised. Thinly? A thinly disguised threat. Yeah, I guess that's a bad way to be disguised. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that helps. This is not going to be a B. Body opening. Hmm. I wonder if it's a bay. Are they talking about a body of water? That still leaves us with a B here, though. That's really bad. Maybe this is going to be ionize. Yeah, like you would a particle. Maybe this could be a pita? Yeah, you could probably eat souvlaki with a pita. Body opening. Maybe this could be anybody. That is a prefix that goes in front of body. That's very clever. Um, bases of support. Maybe this could be plinths? Yeah, it's like something you can stand on. Uh, maybe it's Sloan? Hmm, I'm really not sure what this should be. This is probably an S, Tess. Um, oh, maybe it's shorts weather. Oh man, that was so hard to see. That's pretty great though. Um, okay, so this was Tess Holiday. This was Dulce Sloan. And then what is this gonna be? Oh, okay. Um, on the something. Oh, is it on the radio? Oh, wow, that's tricky. I was thinking disco all the way, okay. Um, we were thinking this could be ACDC. Let's see, stuff. Maybe this could be jam pack? Ooh, that was tricky to see. 21 Popes. So I guess this is just gonna be a name that 21 Popes had. Hmm. Oh, this is looking like it's going to be AM, FM. That's very nice to have that next to the radio here. What's this next along across? Let's pray it never comes to that. An equivalent phrase. Maybe it's God forbid. A appropriately religious equivalent phrase for praying. Yeah. Okay. Sarcastic response to an attempt at intimidation. Um, is it, ooh, I'm scared? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh man, you are really taking a risk if you say that. That's really funny. Okay, so maybe this is just gonna be John's. 
there were 21 Johns. Java has a rare species of one. Java, ooh. Um, I mean, just based on these letters, I wonder if it could be a rhino? Those letters look okay. No way, spelled out in a text. Um, spelled out in a text. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure what this is gonna be. Lose it completely. Maybe that's go insane. Members of Filmdom's Breakfast Club. I guess they were teens, right? They were all in high school. Yeah, they were in detention. Okay, pass on. I wonder if that could be repeat? Like you could pass on a story that you heard? Yeah. Hmm, is it oh hell no? <laughs> uh, maybe. They're filled with dough. Hmm, I would almost want this to be ATMs, but that would mean repeat and oh hell no are both wrong. I'm not feeling great about this though. I wouldn't be super sad to take it out. Hmm. Rains in. It's not tamps, is it? Rains in. Hmm. Let's take a look at our first grid spanner down here. Listing in the Fortune 100. Well, don't they just list the most valuable companies in the world? Would it be valuable company? Hmm, I don't know. WNBA MVP in 2015 and 2019. Hmm, I don't know very many WNBA players. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this one. Jumper EG. I wonder if this is gonna be about a jumper as in a piece of clothing. Yeah, hmm, I guess it could be. Man, I think one or two of these answers is wrong and it's really holding us back. Let's try and build down from here. Maybe getting the end of these will help. What blank? Hmm, what blank? I'm not sure. Japanese beer is Kirin. That's good. One straying from the norm. One straying from the norm. It seems like it could be a lot of things. What gives? <laughs> um, is it a deviant? No, that's one letter too short. Hmm. Refuse. Oh man. I guess it could be refuse also. Um, it could be about garbage. It's not detritus, right? Yeah, that's one letter too long. Refuse or refuse. Hmm. Places to get waxed. Uh, I guess you could get your car waxed. You could also get your body waxed. Um, I guess it could be a spa maybe? I don't know. Battery type. Hmm. Are they being tricky here? Are they talking about like the battery in Manhattan? I don't know. Shoot, we ran out of things to build off. Well, let's see if we can build through the center here. The oldest known one was found carved into a mammoth tusk around 25,000 BC. Carved into a mammoth tusk. What could that be? I guess it could be maybe a picture of something? Hmm, I don't know. Aquaman portrayer? Oh man, isn't that Jason Momoa? I think that's how you spell his name. Hopefully that will help. Manor, that could be mean. That kind of describes your bearing, how you present yourself, right? Um, Sponge-like delicacy. Sponge-like, it's not cake. I guess it's a delicacy. It has to be something rare. I don't know. 
enough. Enough. Hmm. Cannonball targets. Cannonball. Hmm. There's car races that are called cannonballs. Those are races across the United States. I wonder if that's what they're talking about. Cannonball. It could also be about a cannonball in a pool, right? Oh man, that's great. I guess it's going to be pools. That's super clever. I love that. Is it a map? Oh man, that's so cool. Oh wow, okay. Um, hmm, enough. Ample, there we go. That's great, okay, we're having a little bit of luck in the center here. Father of many children with Aphrodite. I wanna say it's Aries maybe, just based on that A. Those are very common letters too kick in. This is about starting to work. Hmm. I guess you could kick in funds, right? This could be about making a donation, maybe? You could kick in some money? Yeah, actually, I wonder if it's like add. Kick in. Hmm. Ohio pro athlete informally. So this is a pro athlete, so it has to be like a baseball player or a football player. It could be a Cleveland Brown or a Cincinnati Bengal. Um, the new name of the Cleveland baseball team is the Guardians. I don't know how you would say that informally. Hmm. Well, we did get a lot of help here. Let's look at these long acrosses again. Listing in the Fortune 100. Important? Jumper EG. I'm still going on the assumption that this is going to be a piece of clothing. Yeah. Hmm. I have a feeling this one is maybe wrong. This doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Spelled out. I'm going to take this out. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I just took another look at this. I wonder if it's gonna be OMG. That's an equivalent for no way, right? But because they're saying spelled out, you actually have to spell out the letters OMG. Oh my God, that's so hard. And maybe this is gonna be ATMs. Yeah, and then this could be something else. Pass on, maybe that could be retell. It's a similar idea, yeah reins in. It's not Thames, right? I guess it could maybe be Thames. Yeah, maybe this starts with Mega. Could that be a Mega Corporation? Maybe it's not mean. Yeah, let's put in Mega Corporation. Very nice. That is fantastic. Um, Manor. Maybe it's mode, like mode of transportation, manner of transportation. That could be an equivalent. Oh my God, is this moral, the mushroom? That could be a delicacy, right? Yeah, okay. Um, if this was a P, tamps, this would start with P-L-E. Ooh, that looks a little strange. Jumper. Maybe this is going to be a sleeveless dress? Yeah. That looks pretty good. Um, maybe this is a Cav. I think the basketball team is the Cavaliers. Yeah. Okay, maybe this is Ad, like we were thinking before. Um, does this help here? This end? Maybe this could be a deviator. <laughs> Sounds like a parody name of a giant SUV from Robocop or something. Okay, Deviator. Um, refuse. It's not Denies or something. Refuse. Hmm. I still want this to be about garbage. Places to get waxed. 
Is it salons? Ooh, that looks great. Units equal to 10 micronewtons. Micronewtons. What are newtons used for? Is it thrust? Is that what newtons are used to measure? Micronewtons. Hmm, I'm not sure. Battery type. I wonder if this is going to be using chemical symbols like nickel something something. Yeah, I don't know. Side with. I guess that could be ally with, maybe. Maybe this is dines? I think that's another unit. Um. Hmm, I don't know. Refuse. Maybe that could be decline. Yeah, that looks really good. Um, NICAD? I'm not sure what that stands for. Probably nickel something. I think we'll need the goose's help on this one. All right, but that means we just have one square left. Um, something del Dane? Hmm. Could it be a P? No, this should be an E for Thames, right? Reigns in, and then this could be Elena Deladone. Yeah, that sounds like it could be a real name. All right, let's put that E in there and see if that does it for this Christmas Saturday puzzle. All right, a Saturday puzzle in 34 minutes. That's a little on the slow side, but yeah, this was a pretty tricky Saturday puzzle. Okay, well, we didn't really end up having a theme today. I think they maybe just wanted to have this layout just so they could get this big three stack of grid spanners at the bottom. We had a mega corporation, Elena Deladone, and a sleeveless dress. Yeah, that was a nice stack down there. Um, I really liked the answers in the top of the grid too. This had a pretty nice stack. Photo apps, the new black, which I think is a really great answer something suddenly fashionable and shorts weather was really fun too yeah this puzzle had a whole bunch of really nice interesting language on it i really like schlep a lot that's a great word phonic hurts plinths that's a really nice rare word there i really loved jam pack for stuff god forbid is a fun equivalent phrase and ooh, i'm scared is so funny it's just dripping with sarcasm. The cluing on this puzzle was definitely cranked up. I really liked it. We had some nice actual wordplay clues here in the top. Help lift something for a bet. I really liked that one. This one for be behind bars is very clever too. Tend, your tending bars. I liked this classic misdirection we had with ATMs. They're not talking about dough you'd stick in an oven. Oh, and you know what? We never looked at this Klingon creator. It was Mark Okrand. Very nice. Yeah, he deserves some respect for coming up with Klingon. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed solving that Saturday puzzle that was jam-packed full of interesting entries. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice long lazy Sunday solve. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.